Hello everyone, it's homeschool, school with a K. I'm in a class of my own, and I'm here to talk to you about an exciting event coming up. We have SIGU Battle League's Torture Chamber 3, August 20th in uh, New Jersey. Exciting news there, I am going to be battling on the card. It's my first battle. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to talk a little bit about my matchup. I'm going to talk about my opponent, but that can wait for a second because I'm going to run through the rest of the card because we got some really interesting matchups that you may be interested in knowing about. First up, we have Gambit versus Stampede. Now, uh, Stampede is a really great performer, really great battler. I really rock with Stampede's style. He has a few flaws in his delivery here and there, but overall he's pretty strong. And uh, I assume that's going to be a good performance from him. Uh, Gambit is absolute fire. I've seen him live. He has great performance, creativity, energy. I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be an exciting battle from him as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing what he brings to the card. I'm assuming he's going to blow it up. And uh, that's going to be a close battle, but I think I'm going to edge it to Gambit 2-1. And then next up, we have an interesting one, Preach vs. B-Dot. Pardon me, Preach vs. Jim B-Dot. That's a different person. And uh, that's going to be, I think, a good battle to uh, get people who might otherwise not know about Sigu into the league, because when they see the words Preach and B-Dot on the same battle, they're going to think, oh, I would love that dude, I'll watch this, and then they're going to watch the battle, and... The actual B dot isn't there, but then we've got a dude named Preach who does preach, and then we've got a guy who has the name B dot in his name. And between the both of them, it's almost like we have a B dot battle, which is pretty cool. So I expect that one to be pretty close. I'm expecting Jim B dot to edge it. I feel like he's a little more consistent for me and energetic, and uh, I'm expecting his uh, creativity to really shine there, so I've got Jim B.2-1. After that, we've got Busy Bias versus Major Lead, which, shout out to Major Lead, he has uh, the current most viewed battle on Sigu versus Enes, which is probably why it's the current most viewed battle, but still, it's an accomplishment nevertheless, shout out to Major Lead. And uh, he's up against Busy Bias, that's going to be interesting. Major lead is a little bit of a vet advantage there. He's seen bigger competition, but I've seen Busy Bias really rap really well. He's hungry, and uh, I uh, think he's going to edge this one. I think he's hungrier. I think he's going to be more prepared. I'm expecting that to really swing in his favor, and uh, I can't really say no bias there because the dude's name is literally Bias, so... Obviously, that is a biased choice, but that is nevertheless my biased choice, and you can't take it away from me, so huh? And then after that, we have Jailhouse Legs versus King Fatboy. Now, I was a little disappointed after looking up King Fatboy to watch some of his battles that he's not actually all that fat. That was a bit of a bummer, just because he has the word fat in his name, and I was thinking, oh yeah, he's going to be quite a fat dude and he'll be rapping and it'll be cool but he's actually not that fat he's just the tiniest bit chubby really is all but he does rap really good which is I guess what really matters and uh, he's up against jailhouse legs that's another potential contender for battle of the night they both have crazy energy and uh, just a lot to work with I'm going to edge jailhouse legs to one partially just because uh, his name lives a little more up to expectations because King Fat Boy is not really fat, but uh, Jailhouse Legs actually does have legs, so there's some truth to his presentation there. And uh, let's see, after that we have Brody, or Braddy. It's I'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly. I think it's Brody, but it's spelled Braddy. Braddy, Brody, not really much difference anyhow, but he's up against Kai the Poet. This is, I think, going to be kind of a sleeper battle because uh, I haven't heard a whole lot about either of them, but both of them are pretty fire. I like Brody's delivery. I like his style a lot. I like uh, some of his uh, 
just the way he delivers things, but Kai the Poet is much more of a pen game rapper to me, and I feel like on a league that's called Sig You Step Your Ink Game Up, it might be an advantage for Kai to have that like more complex style working for him, so I'm expecting Kai the Poet to edge that. We'll see though. That's going to be good. And then we have King Animal versus Yours Truly Homeschool. And that's going to be fun. What is there to say about King Animal that hasn't been said? The answer is everything because not a whole lot has been said about him. But I will let you know, uh, he's had two battles on Sigu already. He is currently 0-2. Um, his first battle was fairly debatable versus Hollywood Clay but it was a judged battle, and it was judged a loss for him. And then he battled uh, either Gies or Gies de Mechanic, depending on who I talked to on how to pronounce that. But uh, he, he lost that one pretty badly, and uh, he's apparently had some wins off of Sigu after that. I haven't seen the footage, so I won't be able to judge that for myself. But, I mean, anyway, King Animal, first off, the name King Animal is just a very, very good name for a reggae singer. For a battle rapper, it comes across kind of odd, but at least it's a good name for something. And uh, on top of that, he's also the second most talented rapper on the card named King, so he's that he's got that going for him, which is cool. So uh, I want to talk to him in a second. Uh, King Animal. Um, I've been thinking about this battle, and uh, I just want to let you know that if you deliver your rounds exactly like you did against Hollywood Clay, like if you don't choke, if you deliver them perfectly, and your material's as good as it, it was in that battle, you do all three rounds exactly like that, you are going to get 3 0'd badly. And, like, it's my first battle, I'm nervous, there's a chance. I might slip up, I doubt it, because I've prepared, like, I've got all my bars written already, it's still three weeks out, I'm going to spend the rest of the time practicing, getting ready, but, uh, my material is quite good, and based on what I've seen from you, unless you've gotten, like, way, way, way better, you're going to have to really outdo me with something in order to keep up, and I don't want to you honestly I really don't I would rather us have a really good back and forth battle that people debate I'm, I'm telling you though if you come like you did against Hollywood Clay then you're going to get 3 0 so I'm, basically I'm just saying prepare um, I know you think oh it's my first battle I'm gonna be weak I'm not gonna be experienced you gotta understand I'm very determined and I also don't have any other battles on my plate you have other battles on your plate that you need to worry about. I'm focused just on this battle right now. I haven't scheduled anything else, and I'm not going to schedule anything else until this battle is done. So you had better be ready. I am going to embarrass you if you take a battle off here. So don't take a battle off here because I don't want to embarrass you. But I also don't believe in coming in at like half speed. I'm always doing everything to the best that I can do at any given time. So I am going to try to do like absolutely crazy and 3-0 you. I don't want to actually 3-0 you. I want you to surprise me, but you are in for some trouble if you slack against me. So I'm just letting you know straight up. And uh... Other than that, you seem like a pretty cool dude, so I don't know. Like, maybe after the battle we could, like, chill, high-five, and then just not talk to each other ever again, but occasionally message each other on Facebook and go, Oh, hey, bro, how you doing? And I'm like, yeah, uh, just watched a movie, and it was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, cool, bro. Stuff like that. And overall, I hope you have a good career outside of this battle. And if you really want to continue excelling, you might want to show up and have a good performance in this one as well. Because, like, my material is, like, I, I have really good material. It's the best material I've ever written. And don't forget, 
In all of my zero battles, I have lost a total of zero battles. Whew. Think about that for a second. I have never lost a battle in all of my zero battles. <laughs> you have no idea what's coming, do you? Oh well, you'll find out. Bye everybody, this is Homeschool signing out.